How did a quest to make the world's best natural sleep remedy end up here? The beginning's probably a good place to start. This is Rhett, and this is Adrian, and we are Ned. We go to the ends of the earth to find the world's best natural remedies. Why? Because we believe that nature can help us rediscover how to feel better and even thrive. For Shaddai Chai, our masala chai-inspired super blend latte for better sleep, we really went there. There are 70 million Americans suffering from chronic sleep conditions. That's 70 million people who are taking a major hit to their physical and mental well-being each night. So what would we do to make a best-in-class natural sleep supplement for these folks? Thank you. Turns out, just about anything, including an adventure across the world to India and Nepal, 60 hours of air travel, multiple connections, a few missed ones, a shakedown by customs police. We've lost two people already. Starting a band, getting peed on by a cow, and a whole lot of masala chai. Yes, yes. Two weeks later, we had all the inspiration we needed for our sleep latte, Shut I Chai. But before we can tell you about that, we gotta tell you this. Chai just means tea. So if you say chai tea, you're saying tea tea. Silly, right? That's why we stick to saying masala chai, which means spiced tea. Okay, lesson over. So why did we originally start crafting a masala chai flavored sleep latte? Honestly, we just love the taste. But to do it the right way, we needed to unpack hundreds of years of history and the healing traditions behind masala chai first. Enter Adrian's buddy, Krishna Kumar, or KK. We're coming to see you. <laughs> okay, bro. Yes. Adrian met KK seven years ago in a 10-day silent meditation. What'd they talk about? Hard to say. My silent friend called me after seven years. I'm so happy. <laughs> we said goodbye to our families and 24 hours later landed in the capital of India, New Delhi. Fittingly, the trip started out a little sleepy. Thanks, jet lag. Fortunately, masala chai was everywhere to help perk us up with its sweet kick of caffeine. Unlike shaddai chai, which of course helps put us to sleep, traditional masala chai contains a healthy dose of black tea that keeps the population and the cities buzzing around the clock. And with good reason. India is actually the second most sleep-deprived nation in the world. Here's Dr. Roshni Sangani to tell us why. Work-life balance in India, being at office till 10 o'clock at night is normal. And people have hectic lives everywhere now, so the me time is becoming more digital. When we want to make ourselves sleep, we're pushing light and it's not relaxing. And it's meant to be addictive, it's meant to keep you infinite scrolling, where the day never stops. Sounds a lot like the US, right? But Masala Chai's place in Indian culture is way bigger than just staying awake. Chai in India is a part of the national consciousness. There wouldn't be a minute from the time we are born when we wouldn't have heard the word. We wouldn't have seen it poured in our households. When you felt good, you had chai. When you felt bad, you had chai. When you wanted to celebrate, you had chai. It is tea and definitely much more than that. The rituals, ingredients, and terminology around chai are as diverse as India and Nepal themselves. But what they all have in common is the chai wala, the street vendor that keeps the streets buzzing with its sweet nectar. The people are free and come here to yeah. enjoy their time. Cheers. Cheers. Like all artisans, chaiwalas are always digging into the quality, ingredients, and standards of a product. Though in India, it didn't start with tea. It started with spices. <laughs> the main in ingredients we put in the tea is cardamom and ginger. Cardamom. The spices date back to India's Silk Road days, starting around 130 BC. But the blend of spices in masala chai was inspired by kata. Kata is an ancient home remedy for coughs, colds, fevers, and beyond. There's a great deal of medicinal property, and there's a great deal of therapeutic value that the brew had. It actually has got that ingredient to heal. Kata is still very much alive today, rooted in an ancient healing tradition that dates back roughly 5,000 years, called Ayurveda. Ayurveda is a science of life, which is still being practiced. Where my body feels good, my mind feels good, my spirit feels good, and I feel well-connected spiritually. Traditional Ayurvedic therapies incorporate diet, herbal remedies, yoga, meditation, and massage therapy with special infused oils. Lots and lots of oil. And that's how we got here. This is where Shaddai Chai all came together. Our expert formulation intersecting with the ancient wisdom of Ayurveda to help solve our modern sleep problems. Spices like ginger, cardamom, nutmeg, cinnamon, clove, and black pepper get an assist from adaptogenic herbs like ashwagandha, gotu kola, and licorice that also have a major role in Ayurveda. 
The secret to snoozing soundly naturally wasn't a secret at all. It was waiting for us, halfway across the world, with the help of an old friend and many, many new ones. Our exploration led us to a deeper understanding of what Shut Eye Chai would truly be made of. So if you find yourself winding down before bed with a warm cup of Shut Eye Chai, as you take in the aromatic spices and rich flavors, know that it's not just another sleep remedy. It's the culmination of a journey. Not just the jet lag, months of development, high standards, and unparalleled musical talent, but ancient traditions, generational wisdom, rituals of togetherness, thousands of years of know-how, and some of the very best ingredients our natural world has to offer. And of course, the love, energy, and care of all the people we met along the way. Nighty-night.